Yo, what up, guys? This is Grits up here coming to you guys with a different type of video. You guys already know I mostly, the majority of my videos are literally just squad builders, foot champs, challenges, and stuff like that. But I seen one of you guys in my comment section. I'm in my comment section in one of my videos. You guys was talking about making a video on how I make coins. So I'm gonna just go through on how I run my run my club. And then, you know, if it's helpful, obviously click the like button and obviously click the subscribe button to not miss out on any other videos. So let's just get on to it, bro. As you guys see, I have 800k. Okay, so this is what I do, right? So let's start off first with the objectives. Every single week, I try to complete gameplay objectives, right? So like these ones, these ones are perfect because you're gonna get a player right like this one right so you get the fuck where they're at or like this one i mean right you get three players you get two packs and not only that you're gonna be playing squad battles so you could just chill score a couple goals and then you could just go watch tv watch a movie watch youtube chilling right you're gonna get two good two or three decent players two decent packs and then with that completing that you're obviously gonna be getting xp to um level up on your season you get packs from there too and then from squad battles you're gonna be getting packs from squad battles so i like i like doing that a lot at least playing two two days two out of the whole week try to play a couple games of squad battles and it's gonna be getting you a couple of, of coins and if you get lucky from one of those packs bro it's gonna be making you good coins and then we go to SBCs. what i do with SBCs is Number one, the basic and the advanced ones, complete them, all of them. As you can see, I've, I've completed all of them, especially the advanced ones, because the advanced ones actually are untradeable. And I think it's like some of the packs give you like an 84 plus guaranteed. And right there, you're literally guaranteed a really good player. And I know these, uh, these SPCs are pretty expensive. Like I know some of the sections are like 30K, 40K. I know these ones are expensive and hard to complete. But you have to complete them because they're gonna be making you really really good coins and then from the untradeable packs they're gonna be giving you a lot of good players to build your team around and then when it comes to your team i like to build my team on spc players right so as you can see i'm, I'm completing alex Teles. i want him in my in one of my, in my main team so i'm gonna complete him and i'm gonna just keep doing spcs because it will I'll go to my division rivals and foot champions, but what I choose from division rivals and foot champions helps me helps me out a lot on these SBCs. And then we go to like the upgrade packs. I do a few every single day, so I do maybe like three three to five um, upgrade packs. I don't do the I ha I'm not gonna do the icon. I think it's just trash value. Um, the team of the week packs I don't do them at all. And then when it comes to like marquee matchups, I do all of them. And then when it comes to like these type of SPCs that give you like an Electron Players pack, I compete as well because they're pretty cheap. And then most of the time you already have those players that you need to complete that SPC in your club. So it's literally just gonna be getting your untradeables out and getting those packs that are tradable just to make your, your untradeables liquid coins. And that will obviously help you out a lot on building your team. And then we go to moments. I've, I haven't. I've barely even played moments, but I think moments is also a good, good way to make just a little bit extra coins, get a little bit extra packs. And then we go to our division rivals and foot champions. This is what I do, right? So first, let me start off with foot champions. With foot champions, obviously you qualify, you get your packs. I, bro, I only get what is it, three or four wins. I get the wins that you need to complete to advance to foot champions and that's it like i don't care about the mega packs or nothing like that i just want to be get the coins quick and that's it right i don't think that's the best way but that's what i do for foot champions though i always get what is it rank four yeah i think i think it's rank four i always get rank four i don't really care about the you know going higher or sweating out like i just want to be able to get good rewards and you know not sweat out too much but foot champions is probably the best way that I make coins because 
Then we'll go to Division Rivals. I don't get coins from Division Rivals. Division Rivals, that's the rewards. I always get the untradeable rewards. I never get the tradable with packs or just the coins or nothing like that. I always get untradeable packs for my Division Rivals because those packs are beast. You get like six packs per week. Good packs, untradeable, and they're always like at least like 83, 84 player guaranteed. And I like that a lot because, as I said, I already have so much untradeables from my Division Rivals rewards that I could literally just complete marquee matchups like nothing. So it helps me out like that to make my untradeables liquid coins. And again, with the getting the untradeable rewards, it really does... Le like, you literally pack like nasty-ass players, right? So I pack Coleman untradeable... Um, Foden's untradeable, Zambo and Guisa's untradeable, Salah's untradeable, Kulabali's untradeable, um, who else? Lewand I had a Lewandowski I put into the Talis SPC, um, you know, like Martinelli and Mosala that we got from Put Champions, Saliba, we also got untradeable. So I think Division Rivals, I'll say this, this is probably like one of the things that I think is that makes me different from everybody else so i think everybody else at this point of the game is getting coins right just to be able to um sell their packs and then also have coins but for me i i just want to be able to build the untradeables and just to be able to keep cycling them in SPCs and also those players that are beast that are actually meta i could just put into my team so i'll say that i make coins from everything but division rivals and i think that's that's important for what I, how I make coins and then just to end it off I'll just show you guys my transfer list so literally these guys I pack for my foot champions from everything else besides division rivals whether it be preview packs SPCs um, foot champions squad battles whatever I packed all of these guys from so Hernandez I remember I packed from a preview pack a Van Dyke I packed from my foot champions Mane, De Jong, Kunde, and who else? And Llorente. I bought for my team, but I sold them after the weekend league. But everybody else, you know, I just literally from, again, foot champions or whatever. So I always just do that, bro. Just keep making your coins from everywhere that you can besides division rivals. I think that's the best way to run your club. And as I said, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and it was helpful, obviously like the video and subscribe to not miss out because I do have uh, like once I sell everybody because I still have also a few players into in my club. Once I sell everybody, I should have around the million coins. So, bro, foot champions challenges are going to be coming through. Squad builders are going to be coming through. So obviously you do not want to miss out on that. But it's been your boy, Grit Tip. I'll be back in a guys. Take care. Peace out. Oh, uh, uh, uh.